Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Apa's video. Cooking Apa. Hi, this is Cooking Apa. I think the best thing of being a home cook is that whenever I have certain craving, I can just immediately cook that particular dish at home. And this is what I'm going to do today. One of my most favorite dish is a Korean style stir fry pork. Of course, using the same recipe, you can change it to chicken if you don't eat pork. Now, uh, let's take a look at the ingredient here. I used to eat this at least once a week when I was studying in New Zealand those days, 20 over years ago. Uh, but of course, that one I went to the Korean restaurant. Now, I have a pork collar here of probably about 250 grams. Why I use pork collar? Because it has a very good distribution of fat. Uh, you can use any kinds of cuts that you prefer, no problem. Uh, then, then we will have some uh, carrot slice, yellow onion slice, spring onion slice, chive. Yeah, uh, I think chives here to me is optional because yellow onion is easier to find. You can use yellow onion. I, I happen to have both together today. And I have some minced garlic and also ginger. And to give it the spicy Korean flavor, two things. You need uh, the Korean, uh, this is the Korean uh, spicy chili paste. And also this is very important, the Korean spicy red chili flakes. Put in the meat. The veggie, carrot, and also yellow onion, minced ginger, and garlic. Approximately two tablespoons of Korean chili flakes. This is more of a giving the beautiful color and aroma rather than spiciness. One big teaspoon, tablespoon of Korean uh, chili paste. This is quite sweet actually, spicy and sweet at the same time. I did not mention yeah, you want to put in some Korean sesame oil. If about one tablespoon. Uh, if you don't have Korean sesame oil, you can use the local sesame oil, no problem. And some added sweetness. 2 to 3 tablespoons of honey. I'm going to add in a bit of light soy sauce, about 1 tablespoon, and a few dashes of fish sauce. You will also need some rice wine. Mix everything up together. You will see, the, you see some liquid right now, but uh, shortly you won't be able to see because all the liquid is going to be uh, absorbed by the meat itself. And uh, this process actually in Chinese cooking is called Ta Sui, meaning you are beating water into the meat, which is going to help to make the meat more tender. Some people always complain. They say, Apa, how come uh, my pork uh, is always very dry? That's because you never do, you never beat some water into it. See, you don't see the water anymore. Uh, wrap it with a cling wrap. Put it inside the fridge for at least about two hours. Take it out at least half an hour before you want to stir fry. Let it back, go back to room temperature and you stir fry with some oil. Done. All right, once you have heat up the wok, you can put in the pork. Always make sure your wok is free of, is very dry, free of any water. If not, the oil can make it splatter. which can be very dangerous. To be very frank, Appa did not marinate this in the fridge for two hours. <laughs> Straight away I come and uh, stir fry. Still, it's going to taste really good, yeah? But it will taste even better if you leave it in the uh, fridge for two hours. So the flavor can go into your meat better. Wow, very fragrant. I can smell the Korean sesame oil and the chili paste. Mm. 
Look at how beautiful it looks. And you notice a little bit of char. Ooh, that's going to make it taste like a barbecue pork. I'm not adding any other seasoning. I'm just now trying, I'm just trying to stir fry until it is fully cooked. That's it. That's how Korean does it at home. You see the meat juice is releasing and together with the veggie liquid coming from the veggie. Almost there. I think we only need to cook it for probably about 5-6 minutes. Especially when I'm uh, keep closing it with a lid. This is approximately 5 minutes in total. Should be pretty cool by now. I'm going to wrap this with uh, lettuce and eat later, yeah? And I also have some kimchi at home. Ooh. So here's my very simple um, Korean spicy stir-fried pork. I forgot the Korean name for it. Can someone help? Uh, if you like my video, do share my video on no, Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up by Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up by YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.